again everyone <laughs> so um we have people here working on the gutters right now so i'm sorry um that you have to listen to all the hammering and gloriousness that's going on outside but um so i wanted to sit down and film my next clip for you guys next video next clip what am i talking about my next video um so i thought um in this video i take you through my makeup in a little bit more detail and tell you um which ones i've been using the most often <laughs> no i think they can still hear me i hope um so yeah um i'm gonna take you through that and um leave your thoughts in the comments i'd love to know what you guys think of the products that i have if you have any other recommendations for me for things that i can try because it's a huge it's a huge passion huge passion of mine um and so yeah i'd love to share it with y'all so here i go i'm gonna start with uh, the makeup that i have just on my counter here so i have i got these acrylic containers at ross i want to say so i've got two of them one with more i think i need to get one more i'd like to get one more for the bathroom but so far i just have these two so i've got q-tips in here um lots of hair ties because i pretty much wear my hair up most days so um i have lots of them in there i have some of these stretchy ones which i found that um they work pretty well i think i prefer using them when my hair is wet um or has some sort of product in it um but they're really nice so i have a set of those um in this store i have a plate here i don't know where the frick does she have a plate um in her bathroom this is for my flat iron um i don't obviously because you know we're renting this space i don't want to damage the countertops so i have a uh, plate that i put my flat iron on while i'm using it i don't need one for my curling iron um, because it has a little stand right right there um, that keeps it from actually touching the countertop when it's hot. So that's why I have a plate. I'll just put it in here. Um, and then let's see. Stay in there. The cord's like poking out. Whatever. Um, so in here, I just have headbands. This is, um, I was wearing this in my last video. This is something that I wear to um, keep my hair out of my face. Like I'll put one of these on when I get home from work every day to take my makeup off. I have a couple ones in different colors. These came with some pajama sets that I have. Um, so I, I usually wear these like one every day at, um, at night time. Not while I'm sleeping, but just like in the evenings to keep my hair out of my face. Um, and then, let's see, up above. I've got like more basic things. Sorry for the sniffling, by the way. So I've got um, a BB cream. The foundation that I'm wearing right now. Um, I've got... I've got a uh, zaps it uh, for acne uh, this is a foundation stick oh my gosh this is like so bad all this stuff is just falling over all over the place okay so then i have a concealer this is the same brand as the um foundation that i talked about in my makeup video which i'll have to film again um this is a color pop concealer if i can use this as my focus thing why isn't it Oh, it's upside down, but ColourPop concealer. I've got my baby cream and more concealers back here. I keep um, I keep my like body spray. This is uh, setting spray by CoverGirl deodorant. Um, back here is just like some eyeliners, um, a spare mascara that can actually go in here for now. Um, I've got eye primers, more concealers, mascara, and my brushes right here. Um, and then in this drawer down here, I've got some loose highlighters. This is a MAC Mineral Eye Skin Finish. And this is in the shade Soft and Gentle. Um, and then I have that powder that I use and my blush. And up here, I have this compact. Let's see. This is just like a, a blush and... I think that's a highlighter compact, but this is just something I think I got in a, like a beauty subscription box and it's apricot in the act. My highlighting sticks and a uh, body shop bronzer. Um, and then in this one on top, I have um, the two, you know, fancy perfumes that I have. This is a Burberry perfume. 
and it's called Weekend. If it'll focus. Here we go. It's called Weekend by Burberry. It smells very nice. And then I have this other one. This is um, Juicy Couture. And it's like the Noir, Noir, whatever it's called. I, I cannot. I'm terrible with accents. Uh, but yes, yeah, so those are my two like fancier uh, perfumes. I also have uh, some shimmer body oil. I wore some of this on my wedding day in case I'm wanting to feel very, very fancy. And then I have the gingerbread palette. I don't think there's no name on the back of this palette. So we're blocking on the door, but it's not my door, so I'll let my landlord take care of that. <coughs> okay, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I had a really, like, itchy throat today. I don't know why. Anyways, what I was saying is that this is the uh, Too Faced Gingerbread Palette. That's just what I'm calling it, because I don't know. It came out at around the same time as the uh, actual gingerbread palette so it's kind of like a snowflake it's got all these pretty shades in um, and I've mostly been sticking with the purples and this white color called North Pole but it's really pretty I love how uh, like the press releases that Too Faced does the packaging is super cute so I have one of those and then in this top drawer of my other acrylic container I have um, a highlighter and this is a Disney designer collection horse and carriage pressed power um, powdered highlighter and that's got Cinderella on the front so I've got that I've got that BH cosmetics um, palette that I was using the other day I've got a contour and highlight palette by Revolution this is from the same Disney collection these two right here um, and it's a Disney collection by Colourpop so this one has uh, Rapunzel on it. It's called Floating Lights. And then this one's got Belle. And it's another blush. And it's called Enchanted Mirror. Ooh. So it's just a little bit more warm toned blush there. So I've got those. Oh my gosh. And let's see. I only have to kind of move things around a little bit to get it to close and this is another I guess skin finish this is a double gleam so it'll focus 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 there we go um by mac so this one's really pretty um and then for the bottom this is where I keep the eyeshadow palettes that I use uh most days so I have the unleashed palette by Tarte hey um so this just is, I really like the consistency. I like uh, the mission that Tarte has to just stay. Oh, I just put my finger in that. Why am I always putting my finger in my makeup? Anyways, um, I like that a lot of Tarte's products are vegan, um, environment friendly, um, animal friendly, all that stuff. So it's just got some really pretty shades in. And a nice big mirror. Hey! Um... Have the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette, the Revolution Pro Rock and Royal Palette, which uh, I generally use when I want to do a purple look of any kind. I also have the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette, the Too Faced, you will see this coming up a lot, the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. I didn't really show you inside the previous one, I'll show you this one gorgeous colors I, have, I haven't had a, an opportunity to use this this color in particular it's so pretty um and then the chocolate gold oh my gosh okay and then that's what this one looks like again i really want to have an excuse to use why is it so dark I have an excuse to use that green but i haven't and also this black i don't know if i'd ever be courageous enough to use black but I just don't think I could rock a smoky eye, you guys. I don't know. Um, and then this is just like a pouch with some extra brushes in it um, that came with this one, but I really just use this one. And then this is um, another just kind of single release ColourPop palette. It's called Night Owl, and it's got these really pretty kind of brown, tan, orangey kind of shades, which I tend to gravitate towards because um, I've got... Hi y'all, I got green eyes. So that's what I keep down there. 
pounds. I really just like have to figure out a way to get these all back in. Um, and then this normally goes in here. So I'll move on to I'll move on to over there in just a second. Um, and then this is just an extra one that I don't know why I haven't put it in the um, put it in my cabinet yet. But this is a Tarte highlighting powder. It's a Tarte Lit Chrome Paint highlighter, which is also very pretty. And this is our shower speaker. It really needs to be charged. It's just been sitting there. This is the lip scrub that I use. I just dropped it. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, this is um, something that I use as a moisturizer um, most often because it my skin doesn't really react to it. It's my skin's favorite, and um, it feels really nice on the skin. It's these the Body Shop Drops of Youth Bouncy Sleeping Mask. So it's really cool inside. Let me put this down and show you. So I'm back. This is what I was using as a tripod earlier. It's just like a little box that I found at the Goodwill. Um, but yeah, anyways, I was going to tell you what the texture, I was going to show you what the texture of this mask is like. So it's really, I don't know if you can see by me touching it there, but it is truly is like, it's really bouncy. And then if you leave it there, like after you use it, it'll resettle and become flat again. You can sort of see it resettling, but it's really like it smells nice and it feels great on your face and so that's that's um, what I use most days for moisturizer. I also have another body shot moisturizer. Um, this is a Ethiopian green coffee cream. And let's see. Let's get this to focus. And bingo. It says it's a firming body cream, so I guess you could use this all over if you were trying to tighten up certain areas of your body, but again, it's just, you know, it being winter, I use a lot of, I try to stay on top of using a moisturizer. Um, and then, then this, this box has um, wipes in it. So that's, that's the desk area under here. I just keep, this is the drawer where I keep my flat iron and my curling iron, and then in here is just um, towels and things for the shower. So what I really wanted to show you, this is uh, a little rolling desk of, little rolling set of drawers that my husband got. I've wanted a rainbow set. There's like, there we go. Now it's closed. I've wanted as a colorful set. I've had a clear set for a long time that's now in our living room. My parents got that for me when I was like 12. Um, so like I wanted that for a long time and, um, but like a colorful set because like growing up, um, I guess I just, I've always loved rainbow things oh my gosh my eye are you seeing my eye right now anyways um <clears throat> so yeah I've, I've always wanted like a colorful set and just recently like we were in a place where we could afford to to do that so i um passed along the set that my parents got me um to be used somewhere else in the house and um now we have this so this is where i keep my makeup um i've decorated with these butter butterfly lights um i love butterflies they are my absolute favorite um i have a tattoo actually on my shoulder that's the first tattoo i ever got that has butterflies on it it's butterflies and it says beautifully and wonderfully made right here so i absolutely love butterflies so i've got some uh lights up there and in this first drawer um i've got I went through a phase, I think maybe it'll come back at some point where I just love where I don't need glasses, but I do like the aesthetic of um, of wearing them. So I found a couple pairs that are non-prescription, so I just keep them in, in here when I'm not wearing them. So I have the battery pack for my lights. Um, I have a Rimmel Stay Matte uh, foundation that's kind of between a BB cream and a foundation. It says lightweight shine control and it's in the shade fair ivory if i can get it to focus Ooh, no shaking oh my gosh my hand guys so there's that um this is a no pore blemish prime essence oh my gosh i gotta get a system going for to get these to focus yeah there's that I also have a self-adjusting primer that my friend um, 
from work told me about. So sometimes if I'm very, very lazy, when I put this stuff on, it actually evens out your skin tone just the slightest of it. And so it's, but it's not even really a foundation. So it's super easy, super quick, and it feels really light, but it still does enough to keep you from looking completely dead tired. Um, <coughs> So then um, in this little Rubbermaid, I've got different mascaras that I've collected. I've got one from Tarte. This one is from MAC. This is, let me see, Extreme Dimension. This one right here. I've got a lot of Better Than Sex minis. I've got uh, one in for waterproof. I've got one full size, one mini. I've got like... Oh my god, how many do I have? I think I literally, guys, I think I literally have four. Oh my god, I have I have a problem. Look at this. I have five better than I'm not gonna run out for a long time. So these are just like minis of my favorite mascara, better than sex by Too Faced. This is an eyeliner, so this can go over here, and I'll talk about that next. Um, oh look, another eyeliner. <laughs> um, this is a Stila. Um, mascara so it's the Stila huge lash mascara if it's gonna focus yep huge extreme lash mascara got a couple by Maybelline this is the colossal big shot and the falsies and it looks like I've got a little mini of the Tarte got another mini uh, mascara right here and then this is by Too Faced. This is the Replenishing Face Primer. And again, a lot of these little mini things, I um, I used to have a, prescri or a prescription, a, a subscription to a BoxyCharm. So that's where most of these came from. I think I might want to renew my subscription, but I had to let it expire <clears throat> um, over the past year. So I might renew it. Um, so this is um, my eyeliners. This is a, I don't know what this is doing in here. This is a... Uh, bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Concealer. Yep, yeah, waterproof. Um, so yeah, okay, sorry. I had to clean off my lens. So, um, yeah, this is a Kat Von D, I think. Yep, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a Too Faced eyeliner in here uh, better than sex waterproof liquid eyeliner and then I've got a Revlon eyeliner in the shade let's see where does it say the shade mahogany flame and then this one I I enjoy because they actually look brown they don't uh, let's see just bring it out so this is by covergirl and it is in the shade 355 does it have Good liner. Yeah, I think it's just another shade in the shade 355. So that's the first uh, drawer done. It's just basically eye products. The second is, um, these are like face palettes. So I have this one from Too Faced is um, just like from their watermelon collection. Um, so it's like a, a highlighter slash that could be I'm so pale that might even work as a bronzer It looks more pink in the camera, but um in real life It's kind of a tan color and then it's got a blush right here and a glittery kind of bronzy color So there's that um, I also have a another revolution palette for highlighting and uh, This is the revolution reloaded palette Smash my camera there. Hello. Okay. And then <clears throat> I have the Tardist, Tart, Tardiest uh, Pro Glow palette. Let's see if I can remember. I need to get this to open up. Oh my goodness. Because it's got like those magnetic sides. So, yes. Whew, pardon the angle here. It's got a couple blushes, some highlighters, and contour colors, and a mirror on either side. And then in the back, I have just another Rubbermaid container where I keep stray blushes and highlighters. I've got one from Physician's Formula. Excuse me. I've got um, a strobe highlighter in a very kind of like goldy shade. I thought this would be pretty for summer. I've got one in a 
whitish with almost like a green ish not even green it's just like more of a deep white not so much a brilliant white um, and then this is um, the same brand so these are all all four of the all three of those were strobe highlighters this is more of a purple purpley luna kind of shade I've got a trial size Becca highlighter and let's see yeah it's just a little one and this is in the shade vanilla quartz I've got this is another one that came in my um, in my subscription by Kaleido Kaleido Cosmetics and it's skin blush um, but again you know I'm so pale that I have to, I don't always get to use uh, products for the purpose for which they were designed so that's what that looks like um, a Milani baked blush and then so all of those things go back in here tuck it in the back of the drawer I've got a whipped gleam a highlighter right here so yeah all of these things are face products I've got a um, it's by sugar rush so it's just like a liquid highlighter sorry I keep having to stop filming to get water I don't know if maybe because they we have people here working on the house they're stirring up a lot of dust or something but I'm like dying so I'm gonna try to cut most of this out but I apologize like I don't even know if you can see my freaking eye is like tearing up anyways um so yeah that, that's the second drawer done and then oh um so this drawer is where I keep all of my lip products um I've got a couple by lip sets I've got mostly uh, my favorite brand is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour color I like this a lot um, because this part is the color is actually liquid so you put it on liquid it dries um, it doesn't I guess it sort of dries matte um, but it's a little bit tacky when it dries um, and then when you finished applying the color you put this which is kind of a, a balm on top of it and it just goes on clear that's what it looks like little focus um, so it just goes on as like a balm and you put that on over the top of the color and over the course of the day the glossiness it goes it goes on a bit glossy like when you first put it on it does look glossy but it fades to matte over the course of the day and I found that it's basically as close as I've been able to find two foolproof lip products um, they have um, pretty good variation of shades um, every once in a while they'll come out with more shades but it seems like they're pretty set for the most part but I mean the shades work for me and I think it's they've worked really well um I can eat and drink and if I feel like I want to kiss my husband I can give him a kiss without leaving my um lipstick all over his face and um yeah um I so I really like that that's um so they have they have that one the 24 hour super stay and then I also have a couple in <clears throat> because it's been so dry this works better more when it's um warmer out um because there's no balm to put on top of this one so i feel like maybe it could be a little bit more drying than the others but this is the same thing this is uh maybelline superstay matte ink and as far as the staying power goes for these products i think that um these ones and these ones stay well um like they both have the same staying power I just think that this one's a little bit more drying which is why I'm not using it as much in this season so as you can see I've got a lot of uh, lip colors I've got a few revolution glosses um, and I've got like one or two things from NYX um, that I don't use quite as much I tend to stick to what I know I am very sorry about the, what they're doing outside um, hopefully you can still hear me um, and then that's that drawer done and then we have this where I keep this is where I keep like uh, fingernail and toenail clippers uh, this is a uh, very expensive looking uh, lip balm I don't use this too often but this is kind of where I keep most of those products that are just for they're not makeup and they're just more for like uh, skincare um, so then I have the things and tools that I got to take care of my eyebrows after I have them microlated. I've got 
a couple this is a what is this uh, a couple setting sprays this one's by urban decay called d slick this is the uh la roche pose Ephiclar duo um another beauty vlogger that i watch quite frequently oh my gosh this is really struggling to focus i'm so sorry um, another beauty vlogger that I watch, she uh, uses this a lot and says it's really helped with um, with uh, clearing up her acne and, and healing a lot of scars that she's had from previous spots. So I haven't used this too much um, because for me I feel like it's really drying. I might get into using it again, might try it again, um, but um, just yeah. So I think I trust her. Um, I, I would encourage you guys to try it, but I think that just make sure that you are following it up with a moisturizer because it is an acne treatment, as you can see. Um, oh my gosh, well, as I say, as you can see, yeah, so it's a dual action ac acne treatment. So just keep that in mind. Um, I've got a MAC Fix Plus spray, um, a dewy set uh, spray from Anastasia. Uh, this is a tone adjusting face primer, and it's a green face primer for redness. Why isn't anything focusing in this video? Dang it. Okay. Um, and then this is just a small, uh, oh wait, I guess this is a different one. Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Going down, these are, this is where I keep my extra palettes, uh, that I don't really use every day. So I've got one by Milani, I've got BH Cosmetics got another Milani palette under there. I've got um, some refills of products. Um, I, I stockpile certain products because I use them a lot and I don't want to run out. So this is my eye primer, concealer. I use this palette that I'm trying to open right now. I use this one a lot for such a long time. It is uh, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. You can see it's like I've hit pan on several of the eyeshadows, but it's really great. Um, and it's the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 palette. Oh my god. Can you believe that drilling right now? I don't even know what the frick they're doing. Um, and then I've got a Too Faced Beauty Daydreamer palette. Nightma Nightingale. Nightmare. Jeez. Uh, Nightingale Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow palette. Um, another BH Cosmetics Solar Flare. This is the Solar Flare palette under there. This is by BH Cosmetics Hanging in Hawaii. This one's called Love in London. And then I've got a, I believe this is also BH Cosmetics. This is a um, highlighter and bronzer palette, I think. Ooh, okay. So going on down, this is where I keep my hairbrush. This is some clips that I use um, when I'm styling my hair. I've got some headbands and scrunchies and pretty clips in there. Oh my goodness, I have pretty clips in there. Um, <laughs> these are more um, extra makeup products. So I've got an extra stick of deodorant and more concealer, my god. More eyeshadow primer and a couple of other um, eyeshadow palettes. So this is the complementary palette to that uh, watermelon face palette I showed you before. Um, yep, some pretty colors in there. That's my Too Faced. This is another Revolution palette. Um, I've got the Naked Urban Decay Cherry Palette under there, um, and a couple couple of palettes from um, Morph Morph Morphe um, that Jaclyn Hill collabed on. And then I have a Milani palette right there. Um, and then here I have um, my nail polish and a thing of nail polish right there. I don't need to really say a lot there. I've got let's see. Um, I've got some hair products in here. I've got some leave-in conditioner by Way. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's see if I can get this to focus. So this is the Way leave-in conditioner. I've got the dry shampoo, uh, big sexy hair, hairspray. This is a body spray. Um, this is a John Freda Frizz Ease Curl Reviver Mousse. Um, this is, um, this is Argan Oil of Morocco Penetrating Oil for my hair. And then this is the one that I've been using most often. This is a um, Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. The um, ladies that do my hair um, at the salon use this on my hair. So I just put a little bit of this um, in either before or after I style. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, that's most of my makeup. I... 
will occasionally go through. I haven't been very good lately. I'll occasionally go through and switch up some of the things. Um, I normally keep it right here, but I've been filming, so I have a, a chair right there. Um, I'll normally go through and kind of switch things up, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I kind of just tend to stick with what's in here. Um, just because it's I don't have a lot of time to really think about it. Um, but yeah, and then... Um, I can show you in the shower, the things that I use in the shower. So in the shower, I have, um, I have a Gar Garnier Fruit, whatever, however you say that. I'm not going to humiliate myself by trying and saying it wrong. Um, this is triple nutrition um, uh, conditioner that I use. And then I do a double shampoo when I do my hair, when I uh, wash my hair. So I use the Garnier Garnier uh, Sleek and Shine for the first cleanse, and then I have a scrubber that I use um, for my second cleanse, so I use a dandruff shampoo. Let me see. Let me grab it. Um, this is the Head and Shoulders Itchy Scalp Care with Eucalyptus. This is my shampoo, and so I'll put a little bit of that. Um, just kind of, I focus it around the edges of my head, and then work towards the inside, and then I uh, use this to kind of rub it around and make sure that I'm really... Um, scrubbing my scalp with that um and then for body wash i use the aveeno this is positively nourishing calming body wash which i've i actually first tried a different body wash but the same brand um aveeno in um at my friend's house and i've like i was like whoa that's like the best body wash ever i love how it makes your skin feel um hi by the way in there um and so i got one of those i'm really trying i'm really liking it i tried it um and i'm really liking it so i alternate between that and this is a christmas gift it's uh, from bath and body works the winter candy apple body wash right there um and then sometimes like every other day every couple days um i'll use this this is the saint saint whatever it's called ives ivies um fresh skin apricot scrub just like to exfoliate my face um and yeah um so that's basically my myself done um i can talk about some more of the things that i use and enjoy um when i do my room tour but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um yeah leave some comments on what you think what you like like i said and um yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye